All right, this is uh, the beginning of today's video, but uh, I'm showing you the end product for this day. Um, I've added the cup and everything like that. But uh, I've changed the uh, title of this piece from uh, Night Hawking, uh, Cup of Joe Before Night Hawking. Not many people will know what that means. Um, there's another term which is more... Uh, used by uh, those writing songs about it and everything like that. It's called night herding. So a cup of, jo cup of joe before night herding. Uh, what they would do is they would take uh, the cattle and get them all bunched up and two cowboys would go out on a two-hour two uh, watch schedule and each cowboy would ride opposite directions and continually going around the herd and crossing over each other just to make sure that they uh, cover the full all the cattle and they would sing to it sing to the cattle and that would keep them calm um, but that was called night herding and uh, the cattle would all lay down in, in a bunch and uh, that's when they would start riding around the herd, just keeping them calm, rested, while the cowboys slept. Let's get started on today's video. Time to play with some play. It's time to add the uh, coffee cup and his hand, and uh, I'm going to do that today. I made this uh, late night Saturday, this cup. And it was just a rolling a piece of clay, and uh, I just had to do something because I had it in my mind, and I didn't want to bring down my camera and video it so I just uh, didn't <laughs> anyway I'm just going to uh, continue putting clay on this uh, armature and try to do a hand with a uh, I think a glove on it because the uh, cowboys would wear gloves uh, when I uh, worked because it was a lot less damage to their hands if they did anyway I'm just uh, trying to see how this is going to look all right I'll be right back let me get started on this and uh, let me show you first what the top of the cup looks like what I did was I dug into the cup a little bit and put a uh, piece of uh, uh, super sculpty uh, that I had cut out for fringe on the top to give it kind of a brim to the uh, cup and I've put a few dents in the cup because you know on the trail it was bound to get uh, banged around a little bit all right I'm gonna take the camera away from where I'm working because it's right in front of my face and I can't work on this hand with it right in my face okay I'm doing it on the opposite side the inside of the hand. And the wrist. Well, I'm sorry, I can't get my hand out of the way when I work on this. I'll try to, but it makes it awful hard to sculpt when I got to sculpt for the camera, too.
Now the glove is going to make his hand look a whole lot bigger than it is. But I still have to have the proportions proper. doing is adding his thumb and a gloved thumb at that which uh, has a tendency to make it look big okay the glove would bunch up right there where the uh, thumb starts and uh, all right I think you've seen enough of what I'm trying to do I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and put it aside so I can work on this a little more delicately and I'll be back in a few minutes all right, I'm attaching the arm armature for that cup onto the arm with some electrician's tape. Right now I got him pouring the cup out. <laughs> I gotta get that arranged differently. There we go. put some clay on the uh, arm All right, I know what I gotta do hold on a second I'll be right back all right the only way I'm going to attach this cup and keep it to where I want it is to put a fondue stick into it and into the body of the cowboy Or I'll be fighting it forever. There we go. That makes it solid. Which allows me to uh, work on the arm. I'll sure be glad when I can come down here and work on my clay without having to turn the heat on. Let me take a look and see how this is looking. Yeah, this works out good. I'm not going to worry about all the muscles under the shirt because the shirt's going to cover it pretty much. That's the uh, end of the glove. I'm just trying to see what this is going to look like. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm going to take that off and continue working on the sleeve and the arm underneath it. 
I'm going to have to also fill in behind the arm because I got to be able to have it cast. Okay, I'm going to start sculpting the detail of the shirt. I'm going to sculpt it like the vest isn't on him, but then I'll put the opening for the vest around the arm and that will take care of that problem. Okay, I'm putting a leather cuff on his wrist and above his forearm. A lot of the cowboys would wear that to protect their arms from rope burns and whatever else. I'm not a cowboy. I really don't know everything that they would have done and why they would have done it. But I just know they did it. And uh, so that's why I'm putting a leather cuff on his wrist. Which will emphasize the wrinkles in his shirt above it. It also gives me an opportunity for a... Uh, detail on the uh, cuff itself which will add to the uh, as I call it eye candy or the story there we go now I'm not filling in there because that's all going to be covered by the cuff of his shirt uh, glove. Sorry, my brain is confused. <laughs> I'm going by a photograph I've got of a guy holding a coffee cup and wearing just exactly what I'm putting on this. And I'll put that picture up here. Alright, I'm going to put this under here, under the blanket. And I've got to cut that bottom part off of this uh, vest. <clears throat> and uh, wrap it around his arm opening like that okay now I just gotta make it work okay I'm just uh, going to blend in the rest of this vest into the rest of the vest I mean I'll put the detail on that edge just like I did the uh, other edge of the vest. But first, I gotta get those wrinkles worked out. I'll work on the back of the arm tomorrow. And I also gotta work on that uh, glove. Hold on a second. I'm going to uh, take some lighter fluid and. Uh, Go over that arm real quick. What this does is just gets rid of the rough areas caused by my sculpting tool. Now I'll put texture into the shirt tomorrow. I'll also work on the uh, cuff of the uh, sh glove and the glove tomorrow. All right, as you can see, it's starting to take shape now. Finally, putting that arm and the sleeve and the cup in his hand, 
working out that hand to be the right size so it's not too big or too small. Uh, I did it the first time, which is unusual. And I like it. Uh, and it does look a little bit big, but that's because it's got a glove on his hand. And I got to put wrinkles in the uh, leather and stuff like that. And then the cuff, uh, the end of the uh, uh, glove. But that will just add more to the story of this piece. Like I said, I'm thinking about putting the hat on his head, but I don't know. I don't think it will. I don't know. I kind of like being able to see that face without uh, half of it being in shadows or all of it being in shadow. All right, everybody. That's going to have to do it for tonight. And uh, I will see you guys uh, manana. We'll get busy on this thing. Get this thing done. All right. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.